What is the challenge uh, for you guys against that defense? What, uh, Michigan State's Michigan defense? State's right. Well, they're the number one uh, run defense in America right now. They have really good defensive linemen. And the, the challenge is just going to be matching up with their physicality. Is that something that gets you guys going? It makes us extremely excited. You know, one of my favorite things to do is to go against really good opponents because it gets to show you how great you are versus their their attributes. Mike, you know, they like to really bring pressure, for one of another word, on the A-gaps. I mean, it looks like in the past. I mean, they like to attack the middle of the defense if they can on occasion. How much of a more pressure is that put on you, for example, going into Saturday? I mean, I know everybody tries um, to do that to a certain extent. You know, I, I feel the most pressure on Tuesday and Wednesday practice, and then by the time it's game day, I don't feel any pressure because I've seen it so many times. It's it's like I've been there before. What do they do special, in your opinion? I mean, uh, uh, just in in that realm of, of kind of mess, trying to mess with the offensive lines' minds. Um, like you said, they just blitz the A gap. Yeah, yeah, and t t obviously you've got a quarterback who's more of a pocket passer kind of guy. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't just how much on red alert are y'all all the time? And, oh, you're always on red alert, I know, <laughs> in the A gaps. But uh, uh, what's just sort of the the thing you have to keep in mind more than anything else going into Saturday? Just have to keep my head up so I know what's going on. Yeah. Mike, we've asked you a bunch about you know just snapping the transition this year in the last couple of weeks uh, for you. How would you evaluate the way that's come along and, and the way you've been getting the ball back there to Dwayne? I would say you know each week I. Tried to focus on getting some, uh, get something a little better at each time. You know, it's a new position for me, so I think I'm going up like this. So I just need to keep going up and that uh, progress and not slip backwards, and just really got to work hard every day to keep getting better at it. And are you a center for good now, or are you just a center this season because that's what they need you to be? I'm not really sure. You know, I do whatever my coach tells me to do. How, how, what, what do you, you feel How, like your natural position? Again, you do whatever they tell you to do to help the team. What's your most natural position you would guess at this point? My most natural position? Well, since it just really depends on what I've been repping a lot. So if one year I'm repping a lot of center, center's going to feel more natural to me. But if I rep a lot of left guard or right guard, then whatever position that is, that's going to feel most natural for that year. And, if, you know, I still do practice, you know, my left guard set, so I don't ever, you know, lose it because, you know, someone once told me, you know, you can have it, not use it, and then lose it and not even know it. So it's important for me to practice that. How much is snapping, does it take away from your initial, whatever you want to do as a blocker, but then how much does it enhance it? Because you know when the ball is being snapped. <laughs> I'm, You're I'm saying not, what I'm saying, reacting to whatever the defense is throwing at you up there. I'm not going to lie, I totally blinked out. <laughs> you repeat your well, question. In other words, how much is snapping <laughs> taken away from the initial reaction you can have to block, but then how much has it helped it since you know when the snap's happening? Um, I would say it happens pretty fast. Uh, you don't have really much reaction time. You really just have to allow your body to do all the thinking and reacting, if yeah. that makes sense. But like when, when a defense like maybe cocks a nose tackle on you or something like that, I mean, does it, have you found, does it ever distract you from the actual snap? Or no. have you been able to handle that? Well, you got a guy like uh, Robert Landers, it doesn't really affect you after a while. Yeah. And you just kind of get used to it. Hey, Mike, when you were in high school, um, I don't know what it was like being a kid in Detroit who was in the Detroit area, being recruited by Ohio State. Like, what was your, what, what do you recall about being a Michigan kid, being recruited by Ohio State, and do you think now that Ohio State's gone up into Michigan as much as it has, it's almost normal for Detroit kids to be recruited by this team? I know for me personally, I'm from originally from Cincinnati, and I grew up watching Ohio State, and I just remember uh, watching Ohio State games all the time, and you know, it just really felt like I was coming back home. So my goal was always to get an offer from Ohio State and then to play for the Ohio State University. So I know questions. you've been at, you've been asked this a million times in your life about sharing your name with maybe the greatest athlete ever. How many times in your life have you actually been confused with that Michael Jordan? <laughs> so my freshman year of college, uh, it's Super Bowl uh, Sunday, and I wasn't really confused with Michael Jordan, but I will say I called uh, this piece of place and said, <laughs> "Hey, 
what's your name? He said, Michael Jordan. He said, quit BSing me. I got a lot of orders tonight. He's just <laughs> cussing me out, and then I didn't get my food. So I had to I had to walk to CVS across from my dorm and get some uh, oven pizza to warm up. Because <laughs> I, I thought that, that should work for you, right? Yeah. You should get your pizza faster than everybody if they think you're the Michael Jordan. Apparently, Michael Jordan doesn't spend his time in Ohio. <laughs> so you, so you, you understand that's this, this Harbaugh story, though, right? Is that yeah. the real Michael, not the real, you're the real Michael Jordan too, but that Michael Jordan called Jim Harbaugh and he thought it was you. <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty hilarious, you know, it's funny, so. How important, how, how important was it for you and the line to have the kind of game run blocking that you had against Nebraska for the rest of the year? Uh, it meant a lot to us because we began a lot of backlash in the media how we can't run the ball and I think Saturday just kind of made a statement that, you know, we can run the ball. And Michael, what have you seen? Oh, go ahead, Lark. Draymond suggested it. Pete and uh, Devon actually said it, that they feel something different defensively in practice. I don't know how much you go ones on ones this time of year, but are you seeing that? With the uh, defense? Yeah, uh, they, they just feel like there's an extra pep in their step. Devon actually said that they made it a priority to have fun, and as a result, they're playing better. Are they almost. celebrating more? Or are they... Most definitely, you know, defense has been going a little wild in practice lately, and they are celebrating more. What did you know? What did you know different, different about J.K. Dobbins this week after he finally went off the launching pad last week, and just the running game, both of those guys in particular. What you know, a little more pep in their step, et cetera. What have you noticed about that? I don't think there was really anything different other than that they handed the ball to J.K. and Mike, and they got a chance to showcase what they do all the time. Yeah, yeah. And one little quick thing. Uh, you remember when uh, when uh, Dwayne came in the game last year at Michigan and stuff and then delivered some plays and stuff. Where have you seen him really grow, maybe as a leader? What, what have you seen the biggest growth in him from a year ago to now, Michael? Just him being more confident as a quarterback and him being himself. Mm -hmm. and what, what, is that? what did the line think of when J.K. was talking to Nebraska a little bit there at the end of the game? You know, we thought it was, you know, a statement saying that, you know, we're not going to get ran over on and we're going to be physical all the time. So I think we liked it a lot.